In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how Linowit works, and Linowit is a sticky website. So to get there, it's linowit.com, and then it'll, I guess it'll just take you to en.linoit.com. And then what I suggest that you do is you sign up, and then I think you can connect your Google account to it. So you just click right here, Google account. So you just click log in. There we go. All right. Sign up. Accept terms of use. Sign up. It's already taken. I'll do one. And now you'll see as soon as you log in all your different canvases that you already have created. There's public canvases that you could search for. Just search for them up here. But you also have your canvases and your groups. So what I'm going to show you is create a new canvas and we'll call this uh, end of year. And you can choose a background, whatever background that you want. I personally like this one right here, but it doesn't really matter. And then here are some different options. So access to the canvas. Do you want it for your own private use? Do you want to show some stickies to everyone? Do you want everyone can post? So if you just want to open it up and have people not log in, then you can do uh, allow guests to post this public on Canvas. So allow others to copy stickies. Create a sticky via email. Show this canvas on the dock. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so once you're ready and you have all your settings set, just click on create a new canvas or create a canvas. And then you have a completely blank, in a sense, tack board where you can put canvas or where you can put stickies. And down here, you can see that it's basically almost six times the size of the screen. So in the upper left hand corner, if you wanted a sticky there, you just click drag one of the stickies. And the advantage is you just, you can tell you, my first sticky. And we'll do first. You can color it if you want. Paste. Second sticky. First. And maybe another sticky in here. So third sticky. And you would click then post as well. So what I ended up doing, and I don't know if you saw this, is I ended up tagging two of them with the, with the tag first. So you can do this with different groups. So if you have your whole entire class, you just give them access to this link right here, and then they'll have access to this whole entire board and then they can just drag their own stickies on and they can put different things on there and the nice thing about this is if they tag it correctly like group one group two group three then when you click on group one or in this case first then everything else is grayed out which this is grayed out everything would be grayed out except the stickies with first on it as a tag so you just click first again and then everything comes back so if you want to go over all of the posts for group one, you just click on group one, all those come up, then you click group one after you discuss it, and all those go back. So that's how uh, you can organize the tags, which is really nice. And to do the tags again, you just uh, type in whatever you want here. So we can do second and put something there, drag another second. So it's not by color. It's by, oh, look at that. It's already a tag that exists. So now we get first, we get second, and you can see that's nice. So you have these four colors, so stickies are pretty straightforward. Um, other things that you can do with them, which I didn't go over yet, uh, you can change the font, you can change the icon, change the color of it. And I have more of a yellow sticky and then once the sticky is available and on the actual board you can do a couple things so you can peel it off which means basically you're done with it you, you don't need it anymore 
You can copy it to another canvas, which means if you have multiple canvases, you can just uh, copy it and move it to a different canvas. So if you have different classes and you want the other class to see one of the posts, you can uh, send this sticky. So you can send it to an email address. You can set a date to it. So a due date. So if you're doing some type of assignment, and then you can go back and edit it. And that's just basically going back in and doing what we did initially. So you have these four colors. You also have a invisible sticky, which just transparent. So you have that available to you. So five different colors. And then you can also choose those other colors if you wanted to. And then the advantage of this over other websites like this is the fact that you can do pictures. So you can do normal, size, small, medium, large, the type, normal, no shadow, frame, private. Um, so a couple different options. So I'll go desktop, and I'll grab one of the pictures, Powtoon. OK, that's good. So I'll do medium. And now we have that Powtoon image in there. So that's nice. Uh, you can do videos. So if you wanted to go out and grab a video, so a YouTube, Vimeo, or Ustream, you just type the YouTube URL in there and click post, and now you have a video posted on here. And the last is a file. So if you wanted to attach some type of file, just do that. And you can also tag this and add comments to it if you want my certificate post. And there you have it. So kids have access to pictures on here. They have access to uh, putting files on here. They can put videos on here. So there's lots that you can do with something like this. And then when you share it publicly, everyone has access to the same exact uh, Canvas board. So you can collaborate at real time. So it's really nice.